Okay, um, a lot of people have asked me for training routines, uh, what training routines I used to follow. Moreover, they often actually ask which training routine I followed as if it was just one. But anyone who knows anything about bodybuilding knows that that's not the case. It switches up, it changes all the time, if not from day to day, at least monthly. So um, I'm going to talk about the training routines, the three, I think, main training routines I followed. Um, I start To begin with, I'll start with what I actually began doing when I very first started bodybuilding. I started doing full body training. And I loved bodybuilding so much, I was so excited by the prospect of growing and building my body and becoming the way I want to be, basically, that I would spend three to four hours in the gym, literally four hours. The gym owner used to come upstairs and say, hey, Alan, you've been in here way too long. <laughs> and he'd try and kick me out. It wasn't closing time, but he'd try and kick me out. And I'd be back the next day doing another four hours and the next. And he'd say, man, you are nuts. Um... And obviously, I got that nonsense about how you'd lose muscle and everything. It's all in your mind. That's what I always say. To begin with, I could say um, maybe now it wouldn't be such a good idea at this stage to do four hours a day. But to begin with, my body absolutely thrived on full body training. It grew so quickly. It grew um, proportionally because I was just doing the whole thing every time. And I was blasting every single muscle. And I was very young. I was, uh, well, I started weightlifting 14, but, you know, around 17, 18, I started hitting the iron seriously. So we'll say at about that age, I was um, doing the full body training and it was working incredibly. It didn't go on forever. It was the first basic way I trained and I stopped doing it and I, as I learned more about bodybuilding. But I also went back to it later and I said, okay, for a month I'm going to be doing full body training. And invariably, full body training uh, keeps you in the gym longer. So it can be two and a half hours, three hours training. Forget that cortisol crap. Obviously, where people get mixed up with cortisol is that it's obviously a factor if you're on a restricted calorie diet. You're preparing for competition or you're getting ready for summer if you're a lifestyle bodybuilder and you're not in a bulking phase, you're in a very restricted phase, then of course you're not going to spend three, two and a half, three hours in the gym. You're going to try and do your 90 minutes and get out of there because then it's a factor. But when you're bulking and you're getting all the nutrients you need, eating all the food you want, there's no reason whatsoever to worry about <laughs> losing weight unless you're absolutely burning more than you're consuming and then you're not bodybuilding properly. So... That is something that I would do, um, even now I would advise to do full body training every now and again, where you hit the whole body. And then the I never really stuck very much to that modern day bodybuilding principle, which is you train chest one day, back one day, arms the next day. But I did do it every now and again. What I found is in a natural body, you start to get lagging body parts if you do that. But you can get away with it for a short while, provided you absolutely bomb each body part when you go to the gym. So you go to the gym, it's chest day, and you just bomb your chest. Back day, you bomb your chest from all angles with all exercises. Then it was beneficial to me, but I wouldn't do it for more than two or three weeks, a month at the absolute most. And then what I think is one of the main staples of bodybuilding and a really good routine to keep in your inventory all the time is um, supersetting. You go to the gym, uh, say it's Monday, you do chest and back. The next day, say you come in and you do biceps and triceps. Next day you come along, you do your legs, calves, thighs. Next day you come, you do your shoulders and abs. And then you repeat or you rest come back on the weekend, start again. Some people do a, a supersetting um, twice a week. So they've completed two whole routines twice a week. Others do it once a week, which is fine. You've got to find what works for you. I don't believe in giving a precise method to follow because then I feel I'm not dealing with someone serious. 
Video's coming to an end. Hope this helps. There'll be more. Alan El over and out.